Hey folks, Dave here. I hope everybody's having a good day. I am. And if you're not, hopefully we can make it a little better by making something a little Christmassy on our laser. Uh, we're going to take this mini cutting board, it's a bamboo board, and put a Christmas scene on it. So this is three and a half inches by four and a half inches. And we're going to use some free vectors from the internet, and I'll put links to those down in the description. Uh, the first thing we want to do is set up our workspace. So go over and grab a square and just drag it out, let go, and go back over and hit your selector tool. Go down to the bottom and turn this into a tool. And notice at the top right, there's no output for this. So we can use this to size up uh, the scene that we're going to create. Now we want to resize it. Uh, so go up and take the lock off of the size. And we'll make the width 4.5 inches. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we will make the height 3.5 inches. Then select and lock it back. So that's the space we're working with. So now... Let's go grab a vector, this gingerbread house. And remember, you can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. You can push down on it to move the entire canvas around. We want to grab the corner of this and size it down. And then we're going to pull it over here and work on it a little bit before we put it into the workspace. Okay, so... Uh, this looks a little empty, so we are going to put some lines. So grab your pencil, go up top, and just draw that roof out a little bit. And then left click and right click on your mouse to let go of the line. It leaves it selected, so now you can draw the roof out from there a little bit. Just kind of eyeball it and get it where you want it. Left click, right click, and you're good. Then we will come across from here. And make this roof across. Try not to make it look weird. Left and right. And then we can add to this line to stretch it on out. And left click, right click. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, let's put a window. Well, let's do a wall. Do a wall right here. Corner of the house. Just draw down. And left click and right click. Let's put a window. So we can hit the selector tool to let go of the pencil. And then click the square. And just draw out what looks like a good window. That's that's a pretty good size window for everybody to uh, take a look out at the snow. Okay, so now we need the pencil tool again so we can put a sash. So just grab the pencil tool. Draw you a line and left click, right click. Come in the center of that. Left click, right click, and that looks like a window to me. So we're going to go with it. Then click your selector tool. Okay, so now to we want to add some snow to this. And when you get a vector downloaded, uh, typically it's grouped. So we're going to ungroup this. Hopefully it's grouped. Yep. So we're going to ungroup it. Then we're going to grab a sliver of this snow up here. Sounds like I'm whistling. So grab that and then duplicate and just pull it down here onto the house. And then you can, we'll just grab another sliver that's not quite as big. Grab another chunk up here, right click. Duplicate. Let's pull it out 
and then we'll rotate it. Go over here to arrange and rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise, either one, 90 degrees. And just bring it over here and set it on top of the tree. That looks pretty good. Maybe grab a little bit more up here to go on the uh, the roof. Uh-oh, that ain't it. Whatever I've done, that wasn't right. Duplicate. Bring it down and set it on the roof. All right, we'll put a little bit on this tree over here, too. Grab some. Duplicate. Pull it out. Go to arrange, rotate at 90 degrees, and then set it on top of that tree. There I go whistling again. We didn't get very much on there, though. Let's put some more on that tree. You can grab it from anywhere. Wherever you want to grab it from, uh, just grab it and put it wherever you want it. Make it as snowy as you like. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now <clears throat> we're going to group all of this back together. Just select it. Now, if you pull from the the left, uh, I'm sorry, the right, you get a green line, and you don't have to touch everything. It'll grab anything that's already partially grouped. If you come from the left, you get a red line, and you have to grab every single speck of snow for that to select. So... Now, since it is ungrouped, chances are you have to grab the whole thing with both of them. So, but uh, in in most cases, the um, the green line will grab the larger objects just by touching them. The red line will grab the smaller objects without touching some of the larger ones. So they're both beneficial, and I'm just rambling now. So. Uh, grab it, right click, and group. And then we're going to make it a score. So when you have a score, uh, we don't want to engrave. We just want to score. So let's check our preview up here. And of course it is on another screen. So there. That's what it's going to look like. But we're going to add Santa to this. Uh, but first, we're going to flip this around. So now that you have it grouped and selected, go over to Arrange and flip horizontal. And it's going to turn the house that way. Um, and then we can have Santa flying over the house. We could have flipped Santa, but you know, we'll just flip the house. So let's go back and grab Santa. And when you first import uh, the vector you're using, uh, while it's selected, go ahead and resize or move it away from your other vector so you don't uh, get into a situation where they're intermingled and difficult to uh, select or remove. So, we're just going to try to make him look like he is flying over the house. Because we know that is what Santa does. I hate he's going to have to hit that tree, but he just might. We'll make him a little smaller. And I think we can make him miss the tree. That looks pretty good. Maybe the reindeer is smart enough not to hit the tree. Okay, so now we can, uh, while Santa is selected, you can go ahead and make him and the reindeer a score as well. <clears throat> now I'm using a 40 watt laser, so this is what my score, one of them, I've got multiple scores for different materials. Uh, this is what works pretty good for uh, 
for bamboo, so that's what I'm going to go with. So now we can grab all of this and group that, bring it up to our workspace, and we'll get this down here and make it larger. And then we will resize to make it fit inside. And if you're off a little bit, really don't matter. It's just going to bounce off of your, uh, your honeycomb. So to better explain the red line <coughs> and versus the, the green line, if you come from the left with the, with the red line, it won't grab that, even though this is already grouped. But if you come from the right with a green line, all you got to do is touch it. And now it grabbed the work area plus the scene. And now we can group all of that together. Okay, so I just need to get set up in the uh, laser. And one more thing, when you, when you have a a score, especially when you have a cut, grab that score, pull it up above the cut line. You don't want to uh, cut and then score. Okay, so let me get set up in the laser and uh, we'll burn this out, see what it looks like. Okay, I'll be right back, folks. Okay, folks, I think we're ready. I'll do a quick frame. Alright, let's burn this and see what it looks like. Okay, well, I'll clean this up with some uh, white vinegar and a soft cloth, and we'll get a closer look at it. I'll be back shortly. Okay, well, here's our finished product. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. So adding those lines to the house certainly helps it look more like a house. Uh, spreading the snow out uh, fills things in. And it's good to play around with the vectors and make them more like what you want them to look like. It's good practice, uh, especially when you're first learning, and, and I'm learning for sure. So um, I picked this board up at a local hobby store on one of their discount days for about $1.50, and I've seen people pay a lot more than that for things like this. So they're good to have to set around for Christmas or to give as gifts. So y'all give it a try. If you have any issues with it, just drop me a note in the comments and I'll be glad to help out in any way I can. So we'll have some more Christmas stuff coming out soon. So just check back often and uh, y'all take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.